Okay, so I'm at the theater. I'm going to Unplanned. I was going to actually make an actual intro, but I am running late. And there's actually a lot of cars here. I think it's because there's no school today. But um, I'll give you some feedback afterwards. Uh, happy day-ish of Veda. I don't know what day I'll post this on. Um, but happy Veda. And I will probably be a bawling mess after this. So we'll see ya. As you probably know, I just uh, finished the movie. It was good. Sometimes movies can be a little cheesy, and it wasn't. It, there was, it was genuinely a good movie. So that's good. I would, didn't know how emotional I would get. I wasn't a crazy wreck, <laughs> but that's only because I'd heard her story so many times. When I research things, I really like dig in deep, and so there wasn't anything like there wasn't anything new. Some of the scenes were graphic. I think like working with teen moms I, I, and and even just like talking to women and like um and having sorry and having honest conversations about serious things I think um like and fostering teens too like a lot of the things in there I've I've either heard from Abby Johnson's stories and testimony or through other people that I work with like I've heard of a lot of the details of it and that doesn't, uh, I'm not trying to like sen like say that I've been sensitized to it, but also if I'm studying something like I want to do like a couple art pieces on or like I've done several like paintings and in progress drawings and stuff on it. I think by the time I get to the point where I'm creating the artwork, I have gone from being super emotional to uh, more analytical. And um, so like I, it is an emotional thing. It makes me angry. Like um, like I am one of the people that stands outside of my parenthood brain. Like I, it's something I really care about and I think it's a terrible, tragic thing. And so it, like I don't disagree. Like, I think it is really sad and awful um, what's happening in our country and that like, so many people just think it's good. It's he like it's not healthy. It's not good. It's not helpful. Like you are killing a person. And actually one of the things that really stood out was, uh, oh, there were so many things. Um, yeah, I guess if you get a chance to watch it, I would say go watch it. Um, it really was a good movie. Um, and it is... I, I did tear up a couple times, like, I, I did, um, but I wasn't, like, was it, like, gross crying or whatever, it wasn't messy crying or whatever, but yeah, it's, um, it's solid, so, yeah, go check, um, out, un go check out Unplanned if you haven't. One thing that did surprise me was that the theater was pretty full, um, and I think, too, when I was walking, I was, I was like, God, oh, this is really cheesy, but I was thinking, like, God, help this theater to be really clean so like when the people leave they'll see the difference that like hey maybe christians aren't disgusting slobs like the rest of the world i don't know do you leave your popcorn or junk in sorry okay. do you leave your popcorn and junk and wrappers in the theater when you're done let me know in the comments below sorry i just called you a disgusting slob if you do it but really really stop that um what else um Yeah, I have other videos either coming or posted about uh, standing outside of Planned Parenthood. That that happened before the movie, and it'll happen after the movie, but I just wanted to um, throw that out there. Uh, those those are more, uh, maybe more emotional. I think right now I'm just kind of like, I'm tired, I feel sick, I've been, um, I didn't, uh, so I'll also do a health video, but um, I have been on like a stomach medicine for a while probably long longer than you're supposed to be on it but whatever and the prescription was out today it was out yesterday but I couldn't get it because my doctor was at a different office and they wouldn't send her the uh, refill and so I saw her today though I had an appointment today so I was like yeah whatever but I've just been like nauseous all day and I can't take it after like you have to be fasting um so I could take it in the morning so I can't really take it during the day with I have to eat every two hours because my stomach like blah 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 so basically I've been nauseous all day and that actually there were a couple of scenes where I almost like I I, I contemplated getting up and going to the fancy trash cans in the, in the hallway on the, like, once you get in the theater, but, um, I didn't, I didn't throw up, um, usually it's just nausea, which 
um, that's, that's my new normal for like the last year, 12 months, 13 months. <laughs> okay. Talk to y'all later. So I didn't actually mention why I was hoping that they would see something different. Uh, so <laughs> I wanted to re-record. Um, sorry, the window's down. Like I said, I've been feeling nauseous all day. Um, uh, sorry. Um, and my, I'm foggy. But, um, I, I just... As truth has a way of, like, truth is truth is truth is truth. Truth does not change. There is no abstract. There is no semi-truth. There is no... And there's things that are part truth and things that are, like, watered down with lies or, like, watered down to where they're not true anymore. But the thing about truth is that truth is true. And, um, I guess my prayer is that the people who clean, if they see that, like, oh, it's something different, that maybe they'll see that oh, this movie is a different group of people, like, there's something here, and it'll just be one more little thing that leads them closer to the truth. Um, unless they already have the truth, which is cool. Sorry, I'm in a mood. I think I'm just sick of feeling sick. So that's what's up.